Archdeacon Nicholas Apollonio entered the world in the Italian city of Trieste, a historic place with a number of ancient churches. Although the would-be priest receives his early sacraments at home, he soon drifted away. I was baptized, maybe I received First Communion, but I never, never went back to church. He describes his Italian childhood as a simple one, living happily with his parents and younger sister. Yet his life would change during a family vacation to France, when his father suddenly became ill. He was about to die, actually. He had an aneurysm. His father would recover, yet Deacon Apollonia would again struggle as his parents announced their separation. As he witnessed the rift in his family, he wondered about God. Everybody tells you, God is good. God is love. God, uh, I would look at my family mm -hmm. and say, where is God? I don't see. God would find Deacon Apollonio some 10 years later when a friend brought the teenager to a meeting of the neocatechumical way, a charism that is dedicated to bringing God's people back to the faith. And they announced to me the love of, the love of God, the charisma, and I never saw anybody uh, tell me this. With the neocatechumical way, Deacon Apollonio would travel on mission to several countries and attend five World Youth Day events. What I discovered is that many times what, what I suffer, what the sufferings I, I went through, mm -hmm. are the very same sufferings that the people have. And as he prepares for his ordination day, he hopes to help those who suffer find God, just as God found him. The same good, good news that I received, that, that saved me, that saved my life, because I don't know where I would be without this announcement. I would like to bring it to, to everybody. Reporting for Currents, I'm Katie Angusser.